How's it going everyone? Silva Shareholder here. I'm going to be doing an unpackaging and this one I'm hoping is going to be the first in a series that I'm planning on doing. So I'm going to go ahead and open this up. Seems to be packaged well. So here it is, it's going to be the Britannia. This one's a 2008. And I'm actually planning on beginning to put together a set of these. I've had a few in the past. Um, I may or may not collect each year. I may decide just to go ahead and get the unique designs. So every other year they've been putting out a unique one year issue design and then every other year repeats. So. I might just go with the unique designs. Let me know what you think, uh, if it's worth collecting an entire set of years, or if I should just go for the ones with the unique design. And they stopped doing that now, so I believe in 2013 was the first year they stopped the unique design, and they just started repeating the same design each year, and they offered a proof version. And the proof version seems to be pretty expensive, so I've considered picking one of those up, but I haven't as of yet. And uh, let me know what you think of the, the proof issues as well. But yeah, I really like the Britannia series. I think it's underappreciated and has a lot of potential for premium growth in the future. And I uh, really like the Britannia. Even now for a bullion coin, it has fairly low mintage numbers. So they've list, lifted the cap. I think it used to be 100000 a year, which is very low. But I believe they've lifted that. I don't know if there's a higher mintage number or if they just mint to demand. But uh, either way, as of right now, it's fairly low mintage when compared to Silver Eagles, obviously, or even uh, Kookaburras, I believe, or um, maybe not the Kookaburra, the, the Koala anyways, or um, Pandas and that type of thing. So... And I do think these have a lot of room to appreciate. On the other hand, England doesn't have the same population as, say, China. So with the pandas, you have the potential for, you know, huge demand going forward if the Chinese become more affluent and uh, we start to see more collectors from China could increase demand for the pandas. Um, the population in England is not nearly as large, or in the United Kingdom, I guess I should say, or um, hopefully someone from there could fill me in on the, the proper terms for whose uh, coin this would be. I guess it would be Britannia, so Great Britain, perhaps. But uh, yeah, I do think there's a lot of potential. Maybe it's somewhat limited due to uh, the population not being as large as, say, China, but Either way, I like them. I think I'm going to start collecting them, and I'll do a little series here as I'm able to pick them up, see if I can put together a set. And I uh, just thought I'll share it with everyone. Let me know what you think of the Britannia. Uh, let me know what sets you're putting together. So if anyone there is collecting sets, say, of uh, pandas, kookaburras, whatever other issues there are that uh, you're collecting, I'd like to see some comments, so... Thanks again, everybody. I'll get back with another video soon.